This episode should leave you speechless. But unfortunately, I believe for most, it will not, because this will not come as a surprise to many, which is actually more alarming, in my opinion, but we're looking at something big. We covered it briefly on Friday, as you will know, but this time I want to devote a whole episode to it and look at what we know about it so far. What are we talking about? I'm talking about the fire. You will know about the fire in the storage facility. Again, this is coming just a while after the Department of Justice is investigating, etc. I want to mention go over all of the main details that we know so far. This is going to be a good one. Make sure to smash like and subscribe. But remember, this is not financial advice. It's just my personal interpretation of things. So it was a big shock when we found out about this one yesterday when we covered it. And uh, really surprising that this one has kind of gone under the radar. In the ape community, it hasn't. But we're not hearing about this in a more widespread sense, which is shocking. Anyway, we have the first piece to look at from Trace Trace, by the way. We're gonna have a look at all of the pieces, then I'm gonna give you my interpretation at the very end. So we'll start off over here with this one from Twitter from Trace Trace. So it's wild how it took the internet just a couple of hours to find out about the burning of the warehouse and documents, uh, without a doubt, somehow tied to TD Ameritrade. People lie, but legal documents do not when the Justice Department leaves a link to the, um, or a picture at least link to the documents, so feel free to check that out. Of course, it is on Trey's Twitter, so big shout out to him. Really shocking that this one has been, you know, as far as we know, kind of allowed to go under the radar. Apes will not allow it though, and it did take the internet just a couple of hours, as you'll know, uh, to uncover this, to understand it, which is good, brilliant, and very, very smart. Now we're moving on to our next piece, which is going to be this. It is coming from the user, the shock of stocks on r slash AMC, and it speaks about this. So it says, I know this rings a bell, this fire, and it's similar to something which happened in 2015. It probably isn't their first rodeo, link in the comments, and this is coming from, I believe it is Crime and Mayhem, something like that. Anyway, speaking about Williamsburg storage fire uh, still burning, may have destroyed sensitive documents. Now, this was published actually uh, just a couple of days prior to this date on February the 2nd, but in 2015, almost to the exact date. That is a strange coincidence, but there we go. Uh, and yeah, it speaks about the fact that this fire over here in some building may have destroyed sensitive documents and uh, going back to what we're seeing right now it does kind of make you think right it's very very strange that this particular building set fire at this particular time now it could be a very very strange coincidence who knows right let's give them the benefit of the doubt but all i know is i've been here for a year right now i've seen a lot of coincidences i've seen a lot of continuous coincidences which seem you know, too, I would say too good to be true, but let's say too bad to be true, too shocking to be true, too appalling to be true. And that is why, you know, coming into the best part of a year later, seeing something like this, like you said at the beginning, this really should leave us all speechless. But unfortunately, it doesn't. We can speak about it. We kind of expect something like this. And that really is a sad place to be in. We should not expect something like this. And this really should be investigated again by the Department of Justice and the and the correct bodies that it needs to go through because this could be a big thing as of part of their operation. So hopefully this is taken, uh, taken into consideration by the authorities or whoever is investigating this one because this is a sort of stuff which we do need to pay attention to. Again, maybe something didn't happen, maybe it's just speculation, but I think we should at least pay attention to this one because it could be more sinister than that. Who knows? We cannot trust anybody at this point, as we know, uh, and that is what we should remember. And again, uh, just to recap on what actually happened, we have this coming from Sammy2607. We've already looked at it before, but speaking about the uh, brief circumstances of what actually went on, Let's talk about how the Department of Justice announces this ongoing investigation. And all of a sudden, a security, a secure um, storage building, or a storage building, whatever, burns just outside of Chicago, Illinois. Guess what? The facility is connected to TD Ameritrade. And a lot of their records were stored at this facility. Yeah, coincidence. This is the uh, thing that we're talking about. So now I want to give my reaction into this uh, in a bit more detail, right? Absolutely shocking, if you ask me. I've seen a lot of stuff in this movement, so we all have. 
but it's getting more and more out of hand. And if you ask me, it's getting more and more blatant. This is a sort of stuff that you just could not make up. It sounds ridiculous, it seems ridiculous, it looks ridiculous. And again, at this level, I, I would love to say, you know, this is nothing to do with the whole uh, investigation, but who knows? Who knows anymore, right? We've uncovered so much that we would not necessarily think was the case anyway. We don't know, we can't put anything past them. So, again, going back to the initial point, it is shocking, it should leave us speechless, but this is the sort of stuff that we have came to expect, and that really itself is not on, if you ask me. This should be out there more. Why is this not being reported about more? Why is it not being spoken about more? Especially by the mainstream media, because this is a big deal. This is the sort of stuff that does need that attention drawing on it. Anyway, it's been another update. Just wanted to actually go into detail on what we know about the fire so far. I uh, hope it was useful. Hopefully it was. Again, do subscribe if you can, please. I'm trying to grow the channel, trying to get the info out there. Share the video any way you can. But I will be back with you in a bit for more stuff, so do join us for that too. But see you for now. Well, thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon